She goes like, guys, and she has a story to tell. Darby like. Third week. <laughs> she'll always be like, wait, guys, just wait, and she'll stare at everybody. That's what she does to get people's attention because nobody really wants to listen to her. But our ghost. What's that funny memory you had? Up with Nana! <laughs> I'm doing this because I love you, Dar. Dar be like. <laughs> so I always get broken down with my beamer, but this time she got broken down with the forerunner and she had to call me and be like my tires were flat and she got stuck this time and it wasn't me. It's always me. I remember the time when we were going to badminton practice in Napa and we almost crashed and she didn't even bother honking so I was like <laughs> I honked for her It's kind of a long story but basically we tried ordering dollar spam subis early It starts at 1 o'clock but we had to go back to school at like 110 or 115 and we got out of our 5th period class at 12, like 12.24 so we went to L and L, and we tried ordering <laughs> dollar spam smoothie so many times. We tried ordering at 12:30, 12:40, 12:50, and we could tell the worker didn't like us already because we kept trying to order. But then finally at 12:58, we were able to order our spam smoothie and get to back to school on time. There was this one time where we were at our house. It was me, Donnelly, and Darlene, right? And then Donnelly was busy, and I was sitting alone, and I was like, heck of butthurt because Darlene was just on her phone during the whole time, so she didn't want to like communicate with me, so I took her phone away from her, and then she got heck of butthurt, so then we were fighting for heck of long over the phone. And even though we were fighting, in that moment, I think we kind of bonded. There was this one time she dropped me off at home at night, and I live by like three cemeteries, and she was like freaked out. Like we had, like we were in the middle of like cemeteries, and there was one to the right. It was a hell of a fight. It was hell of a scary. Ariana was cutting her hair, and it was like right there. And then she was like, oh yeah, just do whatever you want. So Ariana for real did whatever she wanted to. And she always wanted to see Darlene with her hair short. And then when she took her hair, she was literally like this. What's your funniest memory with Darlene? Um, remember that one time we're out. Dude, she's such a hard worker. You could like rely on her for almost anything, and she's always someone you can go to and talk to and just get like the best advice. I like how we can talk about anything especially like life and she gives really good advice. She's normal. That she's always the wise advice giver. I like how you're really smart and motivating. Like I know when I'm slipping in school you're always there to tell me like hello Jess, get your head in the game. I like how your advice is really blunt. Like you just straight up with me and we never scared to tell me anything. <sighs> Oh, no. Um, nah, little what? kid. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> no. Sorry, darling. I don't really like you. I like Donnelly better. Sorry, Auntie. I love how Dar's that person I can always talk to, you, like, no matter what it is, if I want to fight somebody, vent about boys or whatnot, or a fake friend. Like, Dar's that person I can call at like 1 in the morning, and she'll be like, Alan, what's wrong? And I love that. She's nice. She's smart. I just like her because she's a good friend. Happy birthday!
Happy birthday, birthday Dolly! Happy birthday, Dolly! Happy birthday, Dolly! Such a great person. So glad I met you, and so glad we were able to be close this year. Darlene, it was nice meeting you. We're pink on Wednesdays. You can't sit with us. And happy birthday! Darlene, um, I just wanted to say I'm so proud of everything that you've done and all that you've accomplished. You've done above and beyond, and uh, I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Dar, what's up? I want to say happy 18th birthday. I wish you the best birthday ever because you truly deserve it. I want to let you know that I'm very proud of you of how far you have come. Man, it has been almost four years now since we've been friends. And these past four years has been remarkable. I just want to let you know that during this past year, being your mentor has been truly an amazing opportunity. Being able to see you succeed each and every day and seeing you receive all those acceptance letters from all different universities, including UCLA and now the number one public university, UC Berkeley, makes me so proud of how far you have come. Keep up the amazing work. I know the road is going to be hard and tough and the decision is going to be difficult, but always know that I'm always here for you each and every day. And I love you very much. Keep up the amazing work. And I know you're going to do very well in the near future. And have a blast on your 18th birthday. Happy, happy birthday. I love you. And I am looking forward to going on our double date with our rich white men. <laughs> Mwah. Hi, darling. Happy birthday. I'm sorry that I couldn't make it. But I'm really there in spirit. And I just wanted to um, point out your accomplishments. It's a blessing to witness you prosper with your hard work and it definitely paid off with your college acceptances. And I'm so proud of you and I'm proud to call you my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as the days are getting closer to graduation, I know that I will have friends that fade away, but I'm confident that you'll be one of the few friends that will always have a solid relationship with me, even beyond college. I love you and I'm so sorry again that I can't make it, but um, I hope you have fun and I hope that you have the best day of your life and I, um, and have a great life. Even though we pretend that we hate each other, um, I'm pretty happy that we're tight like actual siblings and I'm really happy that we connected and got close over time. And even though I just met you in high school, like, I'm pretty happy that we're basically related, having the same godmom and all, and like our families actually know each other. And yeah, I think it's just funny how we cl how close we got. Even though I met you on AIM with a username Pink Cupcakes Please Nine, which was pretty funny to still think about. I just hope that you remain humble in all your accomplishments. And I'm really sorry for not rapping at Ducati because I was really busy, you know, performing on um, a world tour and stuff with Kanye. And yeah, just in case my rapping career ends, I really hope that you have a couch available for me at your feature house. So happy birthday, darling, and I wish you the best. <laughs> we're really sorry we couldn't be there today. Um, we're actually in the loading truck right now. And yeah, we're really sorry we couldn't make it. You know we would be there if we could. But yeah, we hope you enjoy your day and love you. Hey, 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 hey.